Hey, 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 hey. The objective of this video is for us to continue with section 7.3 in which we are given a sampling distribution about the mean. So, go ahead and read number 56. Okay, so let's look at the key information on this. Oh, my goodness. They told me it is normally distributive. Thank you. So if it's normally distributive, we have that is the mean and that is the standard deviation. So what are we looking for here? We're looking for the probability that the cereal contents is going to be less than 9.65 ounces of cereal, the cereal box. Okay, so here I'm making x equals the box of cereal. This is where we're looking for the probability where x is less than the 9.65 um, ounces. Okay, we have our mean to be 9.7 and our standard deviation for the population to be 0 0.03. So now let's just plug it into the z-score. Before I do this though, before I plug it in, how many boxes are they talking about? Oh, we want a randomly selected box. So let's make a note that here n is going to equal 1. So now I've got the probability of x is less than 9.65, which is going to equal the probability of z being less than, less than 9.65 minus the 9.7 divided by the standard deviation. And again, since n is 1, we don't even have to use that new formula that we talked about in our last set of notes. Okay. Now, go ahead and use your normal CDF and find out what the probability is. And of course, we know we've got to interpret. So, let's do it. You know what? Before I do this, I think I want to draw myself a cutesy little bell. Okay, in which right here is the mean, and I want it to be 9.65, so that's about here. And yes, I'm going to be shading this region right here. So, go ahead and do your normal CDF, and then find for me the probability. Remember, your left bound is a negative infinity, some really small number. Your right bound is at 9.65. Your mean is 9.7, and your standard deviation is 0 0.03. And find your probability. So it's 0 0.0478. Now, let's do the interpretation. So there is a 4.78% chance of randomly selecting a box of cereal that contains less than, I'm just putting the less than symbol because I don't have much room, 9.65 ounces. Okay, now that happens because we had a random sample. So now go ahead and read the next card and pause. Okay, so as you look at this, notice what's different. It's still the same but now we're looking at a random sample of 5. So now we have n equals 5. And that is going to make a difference for us in terms of our calculations. Now, let's see what this says. What is the probability of the mean amount of cereal? So the average of those five boxes is going to be um, less than that 9.65 ounces. So we still have our same equation. We still have our standard deviation. We have our standard deviation. We have our um, average, but now we've got to take into consideration this five boxes. Now as I'm writing this down right here, and this should be ounces, I'm just, honestly, when you do the problem, we don't need this, but I need you to put this in perspective. We're talking about the five boxes, and we're talking about this being the average. But honestly, the only thing that we're really going to be writing down is like we did before. And now we have our same equation for um, the z-score. My decimal is off. 
No, it's not. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Now we're talking about 0.3 divided by the square root of 5. Okay. So go for it. And go ahead and write down what your normal CDF is going to look like on that one too. Now please note I didn't draw another bell simply because it's going to be the same except for it's, a, it's an average of five boxes, not just a box. So our, our left bound, our right bound, our mean, but wait for it, this is our standard deviation. Whatever the math is of that. Now the book said it's essentially zero. But let's do this in two ways. Let's find out our normal CDF. So we're going to go here, go down. So left bound, some really low number. Right bound was 9.65. The mean was 9.7. Standard deviation is going to be 0 0.03 divided by the square root of 5. And let's paste. Okay, yeah, seriously, essentially zero. Please remember that this is point zero 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 five. I mean nine rather, because I had to move back five places, but here. We're okay with just saying it's essentially zero. And like in everything else we do, we have to do what for a lot of you is the hardest part, which is the interpretation. So let's wrap this up in context. There is a 0.01% chance, came from there, came from there, that the mean contents of these five boxes is less than 9.65%. And the book says here there is a 0 0.001, wait, 0.0001 probability that the mean contents of five randomly selected boxes is less than 9.65. And the way I cover myself instead of having to say that randomly select the boxes, because I said of these boxes, so that's my quantifier right there. So, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Peace out. <laughs>